third issue that I want to, to address here, which is finances. Um, and again, while I'm commending the, uh, the new act for uh, talking about state subsidies, transparency of um, uh, you know, uh, public resources that are given to the media, and there is a lot about state advertising, for example, I don't think the, the act manages to address a key issue, which is uh, cutting the link between the, st the, the state funding um, and the strings attached. Um, and in many places that happens because media owners are connected with a lot of public procurement contracts. Uh, in many countries in Eastern Europe, uh, those uh, the, the oligarchic structures that own media companies, they are also the main clients to public procurement contracts awarded by the state. So really here, I think we need a set of very specific, as detailed as possible, uh, provisions that, for example, would limit or even, you know, cut completely the access of media owners to public procurement. I think we need also provisions that would limit as much as possible the ownership of some media owners to other industries that, that pose problems to, to their independence. And of course, I, I think that we have to, to really think about legal provisions that would limit access of individuals with certain connections, especially, especially political, to media ownership. 